Grade 5 Math number 37, Methods to Solve Addition or Subtraction Decimal Problems. Okay, i got a few methods for you. We can use properties and mental math. So if we wanted to add 1.75, which is 1 in 75 hundredths, to 1.63, which is 1 in 63 hundredths, and we wanted to add to those two 1.25, which is 1 in 25 hundredths, we can use the associative property, and we could group together the two that are more compatible. The 175 can be added mental math very quickly to the 125, because if we think money, if we add this 25 to the 75, then we have another dollar, don't we? So that would be $1, $2, $3. We can do that very quickly, and now we can add the 3 to the 1.63, the $1.63, and get 4 dollars and 63 cents or four and 63 hundredths see now we cannot use the commutative or associative properties when subtracting between two decimals you could do it for three but you'd still have to remember to keep the first number the the largest number up front but you can't do it between two decimals because both properties say to change the order of the numbers and we can't change the orders to subtract if you had two numbers and you changed their order, then that means you have $2.10 minus $7.65. See? You can't take that money away, can you? So you can't do it with two decimals, all right? You can do it with three because you could change the order of the last two, but you'd never be able to change the order of the first one, okay? So that would be using properties and mental math. You group together the two most compatible. You can use place values. You keep your decimal points nice and pretty and straight and just add them up or subtract them. Okay. We could do inverse. So if you had n minus 4 and 28 hundredths equals 3 and 36 hundredths, we could just do the inverse and add, which is the opposite of subtraction. And if we add these two numbers together, we'll get 7 and 64 hundredths, and we know n is equal to 7 and 64 one hundredths. See? The inverse of subtraction is addition. Just like the inverse of addition is subtraction. See? Because inverse means opposite. All right? We could also use a table. If a box of crayons was $3.50, how much would four boxes cost? Well, we could keep adding $3.50 and make a table to show that four boxes would be $14. We would increase by $3.50 each time and have a number, uh, the terms coming down the side here of one, two, three, four to show us the number of boxes and then we would know because we made a table, all right? So those are some methods to solve addition and subtraction decimal problems. I mean, you could even use a calculator, but hmm. It's better to do math without a calculator when you're learning because the calculator will end up becoming a crutch. So it's better to use your brain and to develop your brain and your math abilities with your brain. Okay, see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.